Tyaga Sanskrit, Tyaga is a Sanskrit word that means, "...sacrifice, giving up in generosity, forsaking, resigning," anything of value, as well as, "...renunciation," depending on the context. It is an ethical concept in Hinduism and Jainism. Etymology <inaudible> 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 Tyaga means, sacrifice, renunciation, abandonment, resignation, donation, forsaking, liberality, withdrawal Tyaga which is not merely physical renunciation of the world is different from sannyasa, sannyasa which comes from the root as means, giving up entirely. Tyaga means, giving up with generosity what one could probably have kept. Hinduism Tyaga or abandonment refers to giving up of all anxieties for enjoying the fruits of actions, through practice of this kind of tyaga infusing discipline in daily activities the momentary anxiety to enjoy fruits of actions is overcome. It is a subjective renunciation of selfishness and desire, yajna is tyaga. The Vedic interpretation of renunciation tayaga of the fruits of ritual acts including, Agnastamina Svargakamo Yaheta, the desire for heaven, which renunciation is to be found expressed in the phrase, Agne item na mama, this is for Agni, not for me, pronounced by the Yahamana at the time of the oblation. The Tehobindu Upanishad belonging to Krishna Yajurveda explains that in Tyaga renunciation, one abandons the manifestations or objects of the universe through the cognition of Atman that is Sat and Cit and this is practiced by the wise as the giver of immediate salvation. Thus, Kaivalya Upanishad portrays the state of man on the way of renunciation tayaga as having become free of all attachment to the worldly and who, consequently knows and feels himself only as the one divine essence that lives in all. Tyaga of Bhagavad Gita Moksha consists in securing lasting freedom from the bondage of existence in the form of birth and death and realizing God who is no other than bliss Brahman. Chapter 8 of the Bhagavad Gita deals with sannyasa and tyaga, the paths of knowledge and action that are means to the attainment of moksha. Krishna tells Arjuna that even though sannyasa is understood as the giving up of all actions motivated by desires, and tyaga consists in relinquishing the fruit of all actions, that all actions are worth giving up because they contain a measure of evil that acts of sacrifice, charity and penance are not worth shunning. There are three kinds of tyaga, sattvaka, rajasika and tamasika sloka 18.4. Whereas acts of sacrifice, charity and penance, the purifiers of wise men, must be performed without attachment and hope of award, Krishna states Mohadasya Paratyagastamasa, the abandonment of prescribed duty through ignorance, is not advisable, it is the tamasika form of tyaga, if it is owing to kayaklesabhayatayajet, abandonment for fear of physical strain, then it is rajasika form, if it is karyamityava yakarma niyatam kriyatarjuna, sananga Tyaktva phalam kava sa tyaga sattvako mata sloka 18.9 A prescribed duty which is performed simply because it has to be performed, giving up attachment and fruit, that alone has been recognized as the sattvaka form of renunciation. Thereafter, Arjuna is told about the marks of a sattvaka man of renunciation and that since all actions cannot be given up in their entirety by anyone possessing a body, he alone, who abstains from prohibited actions and those that are motivated by desire and performs duties, renounces the fruit of actions as called a man of renunciation, no fruits of actions accrues for him Sloka 18 
In the preceding discourses, Krishna had recommended to Arjuna actions which ought to be performed as duty ch. he told him to perform ordained actions ch. to be free from attachment ch. 19 and ch. and to have no desire for the fruit of action ch. .Krishna had recommended Sattvaka Tyaga. Sannyasa and Tyaga Sannyasa literally means, throwing away, absolute rejection, formal monastic life. In the Bhagavad Gita, it means, mental state of thorough going renunciation, of uncompromising abandonment of all that is unfit and unworthy, of intense dispassion toward things of the world, both internal and external. Tyaga literally means abandonment, the turning from all that hinders the realization of the self. In the Bhagavad Gita, it means renunciation in the sense of relinquishment of the fruit of action. Sannyasa is external, even though it is based on internal disposition. Tyaga is completely mental, it is a state of thought and attitude. Arjuna is emphatically told that it is possible to act and accrue no karma whatsoever, it is a matter of consciousness. In this context, Chenmayananda remarks that abandonment is the true content of the status of renunciation. Sannyasa without the Tyaga spirit is but an empty show, real abandonment is meant for rising to a nobler status of fulfillment, leading on to the ampler fields of expression, to fuller ways of living, and to greater experiences of joy. Joy. And, Aurobindo explains that, Sanisa in the standing of the terminology of the sages means the laying aside of desirable actions. In that sense, Tyaga, not Sannyasa, is the better way. It is not the desirable actions that must be laid aside, but the desire that gives them that character has to be put away from us. The spiritual transference of all works to the Master and his Shakti as the real sannyasa in the teachings of the Gita. The essence of renunciation, the true tyaga, the true sannyasa is not any rule of thumb of inaction but a disinterested soul, a selfless mind, the transition from ego to the free impersonal and spiritual nature." Quote, Self discipline too becomes a form of sattvaka tyaga, during the course of which exercise one has control over negative emotions and behaviors such as anger, greed, and pride. The Bhagavad Gita projects action to serve as steps on the path of spiritual ascent, as an effective means to purify the mind through diligently cultivated mental discipline in action. The true fruit of Tyaga is an elevating sense of peace and fulfillment, even if it entails a bit of physical discomfort. <laughs> Jainism According to Tattvartha Sutra, an ascetic's dharma consists of ten elements i.e. abstract virtues, which are, kasama forbearance, mardeva humility, arjava uprightness, saka desirelessness, satya truthfulness, samyama self-discipline, tapas self-mortification, tyaga renunciation, akankanya poverty and brahmacharya celibacy. Himachandra has recognized only two of the ten pratyakyanas viz. Sankita Pratyakyana and Atta Pratyakyana, the former, which is of eight types, is symbolic and the devotee refrains from taking food for some time by which renunciation he recalls his mind to his religious duties, the latter, is ritualistic, also connected with abstention from or renouncing food, and has a set methodology to adopt. Ahimsa vrata practiced by the Svetambras refers to the renunciation of killing. 
Basically, there are five kinds of tyagas included in the eleven pratimas viz. Sachita tyaga pratima, the stage of renouncing uncooked food, Aramba tyaga pratima, the stage of abandonment of all professional activity, Paragraha tyaga pratima, the stage of transferring publicly one's property to a son or relative, Anamati tyaga pratima, the stage of leaving the household and refraining from counseling in household matters, and Adista Tyaga Pratima, the stage of not eating food especially prepared for oneself i.e. the stage of seeking alms like a monk, commonly followed by Svetambras, Digambaras and Avasyaka Kurni. Nemakandra gives a list of 84 asatanas which includes Sakatanam Adayaga or failure to remove sentient objects and Ahiv Tyaga or failure to remove non-sentient objects. <laughs> 